so if you want to linearize that's where the concept of linearization comes in then if you want to linearize that means that you want the equation you are given to resemble the equation of a straight line because it is not the equation of a straight line according to what you did here now the most common way to linearize is mostly where, what you are given is going to have a power that will not be one as we have discussed then you have to change the power to one so let's say for example we are given p equal to 2q squared so you have to linearize this you use logarithm so you add logarithm to both sides because logarithm is like a way it gives us a way of removing powers from quantities it gives us a way of doing that so this will become log p equal to log 2 plus because this is 2 multiplied by q squared right and you share the logarithm for them log 2 plus log q squared so we get log p equal to log 2 plus 2 log q you drop the power behind the logarithm then you compare it to y equals mx plus c now look at this a variable right so a variable is y y equals mx plus c and it is standing alone so that's why you put y here now you have your what mx mx is what a constant and a variable so this is where the variable part is anywhere the variable part is that's where you put your mx so you put your mx here then you put your plus c here then what are we going to have so instead of plotting graph of y against x the variables are going to be replaced by whatever you have here which is log p and then what you have here is log q so that means that you are plotting the graph of log p against log q and whatever is the coefficient of your x is going to be the slope so that means that your slope is going to be 2 our slope will be 2 and our intercept will be log 2 so let's try another one let's say we are given um, p is equal to q raised power 3 the same thing you have log p is equal to log q cube and this becomes log p equal to 3 log q and this one doesn't have any addition so this is y equal to this is a variable right so you put your mx under it then plus c now you can add plus zero to this one so that means that you are plotting graph of log p against log q the slope is what daily right so that's the coefficient of your log q so our slope is going to be 3 and our y intercept is going to be 0 because there is no intercept on the vertical there is no intercept on the vertical axis so let's try another one let's say we have um, p square now, um, because I'm using values, it's going to be easier. Q cube. Let's say we have 4 Q cube. So, we are going to have what? Log P square equal to log 4 plus log Q cube. So, this becomes 2 log P equal to log 4 plus 3 log Q. Now, you know that our y doesn't have any coefficient, so we divide through by 2. So this becomes log p equal to log 4 over 2 plus 3 log q over 2. Or it's better to just put the 2 here because we don't want it to affect our variable, right? So this is going to become y equal to what? You put your mx here because that's where your variable is, then plus c. So that means that your slope will be 3 over 2, which is the coefficient of your variable. Now you are plotting graph of y against x. That means you are plotting graph of log p against log q. Your slope is 3 over 2 and your intercept is log 4 divided by 2. So that gives us um, exactly what we have been asked to find. What if you don't have values? Like 
you have maybe p raised power m is equal to k raised power n then we have k so all these values are constants they are numbers so it doesn't really mean anything so don't get confused your variables are still p and q as if they are you are told those are the variables in the question so you are going to say log p raised power m equal to log q raised power n k please do not use logarithm when you are having addition or subtraction it's wrong for you to do that you have addition or subtraction you are not using logarithm no you use logarithm you have maybe multiplication or division so this will become m log p equal to log q is by n plus log k so this becomes m log p equal to n log q plus log k divided by size by m log p equal to n over m log q plus log k over m so this is our y equals mx plus c so we plus graph of log p against log q your slope is n over m and your intercept is log k over m what if you have this you have p equal to k raised power q n what do you do you say log p equal to log k raised power q n then this becomes log p equal to log k raised power q plus log n and you have log p equal to q log k plus log n and your variables are p and q right so this is your y this is your a no sorry this is your x right so you write xm not mx this time around plus c so that means that you are plotting graph of what log p against q your q doesn't have log so don't say log p against log q it is log p against q and your slope is what log k and your intercept is going to be what log n so i think that should be gotten what if you have a ratio that means you have p equal to um n raised power of q divided by y so it becomes log p equal to log n raised power q over y so it becomes log p equal to log n raised power q minus log y so it becomes log p equal to q log n minus log y so this is your what this is your y equal to this is your variable so you say x n plus c so things have changed a little that means you are plotting log p against q your slope is what log n and your intercept is minus log y so that's about almost everything that you might be given but it's not every time that you use logarithm to linearize you might, you might have for example in this case you don't have to use logarithm maybe you have a open bracket of q your 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 variables are still p and q so yeah you now have b square plus c square over 2mn q look at that you are still concerned with p and q right so what you do is that what you separate q from here so you say a b squared plus c square over 2mn times 1 over q now this is already your y equals mx plus c please do not use any logarithm here although you can use logarithm and bring you no know, this is the same thing as q is power minus one and bring that minus one behind the logarithm but this one we don't use, need to use logarithm hmm? if you check it normally and you can't do it normally that's when you now use logarithm so what do we do here so we now write it as y equals what this is now our m this is now our x plus c because this is our q so what are we going to do like that so we are going to say we are plotting graph of p against 1 over q we are plotting graph of what p not p against q p against 1 over q together with its power that it is having so or you say you are plotting graph of p against q is power minus 1 you could have done the same thing even for this one for this one uh 
equal and say graph of p square against q cube but in case of those ones when the powers are um, positive this is what i discovered about phi is one nine one when the powers are positive they decide to use graph um, logarithm but when the power is like negative that's when they won't use logarithm they will just do it normally directly so you plot graph of p against q inverse so p against q inverse then your slope will be all of this will be your slope and your intercept is zero because it's not added to anything so when the power is positive use logarithm when the power is not positive don't use logarithm when it's negative don't use logarithm just use it directly there are many examples on that in, in the manual let's say we have something like um, k square plus m square over 5r then q square what do you do you see that the power is negative here because you are having p equal to k square plus m square over 5r times 1 over q square which is q is power minus you see that the power is negative so just do it directly and say this is what y equals m x plus c so you are graphing plotting graph of y against x that's p against 1 over q square or q square inverse and your slope will be all of this and your intercept will be zero